Hi, my name is Li Yan Cheng, and I'm a freshman here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I also work in the MIT Media Labs with the Fluid Interfaces Group. I've got a couple ideas on how to make the Firefox interface even more intuitive and useful for its millions of users. Let me show you some of the mockups that I've made. Something I've been thinking about is tab management. Monitor prices have dropped, so high-resolution monitors are becoming commonplace. However, most web developers are still developing for 1024 by 768 or 800 by 600 resolutions. We are also becoming more focused on multitasking. As a result, Firefox should allow split-screen browsing. Currently in Firefox, users can organize tabs by dragging them. In this mockup, the user can drag a tab from the top tab bar to the right side tab bar for a vertically split window. By dragging a tab to the bottom of the screen, the user can split the screen horizontally as well. This allows the users to both browse and watch videos, compare information, and see web pages more easily. Multiple tab bars also allow users to organize their tabs. Wei Zhao's history concept is wonderful. After all, human memory is all about putting information into context. So in addition to weather and appointments, I'd also like to add the importance of the other tabs open. Here you can clearly tell what I was doing. First, I browsed to XKCD, opened Engadget, and then opened two articles into new tabs, then closed one of the tabs. This concept takes a lot of screen real estate. Therefore, zooming in, zooming out, and panning, much like Google Maps should be used. In addition, a search bar could help the user navigate quickly. The history should allow the user to travel back in time. Thus, the user can restore their Firefox to a previous state, having the same tabs open as in the past. Something that Azza Raskin has mentioned before is the concept of infinite scroll. Here, I'm using a Grease Monkey script to automatically load the next page of Google results when I near the end of the page. Note how the scroll bar reacts. This action should also happen with other search engines, blogs, news sites, and shopping sites. Any page that is paginated should work this way. In the same way that Opera can fast forward by looking for keywords such as next page, forward, arrows, or incrementing the URL by one, Firefox should automatically pull up the next page. You may wonder about its effects on in-page find. I think that the in-page find should show results and the context around them, rather than just highlighting the first instance. Thus, the user doesn't have to hit next to see more results. By using arrow keys or the mouse, one can jump from one result to another, and the page would scroll to show even more context. Find should act similarly to infinite scroll. More results should appear when the user moves closest to the end. The last thing I will mention are file dialogs. The current one is fine for opening files on my computer, but many of my files are no longer stored on my hard drive, so the file dialog should allow URLs, photo sharing sites, email attachments, and even have rudimentary photo editing. Thanks for listening.